Hi guys, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Thank you subscribers, I appreciate you. If you haven't subscribed, click the button and also click the bell icon and you'll be notified when there are other videos. So, I love you guys and I appreciate you, I really do. Okay, uh, I just want to give you an update on my surgery. For those of you who may maybe don't know, I had surgery in January 2017, so that was just, you know, several months ago. And um, I had a tumor in my spine. I did a video on it. So, if you're interested in knowing more about that, then feel free to check out the video. Um, but I had a tumor in my spine, and because I was out of commission since... October, October, November, December, January. So I not only had a tumor in there, but it was necrotic, meaning the inside of the tumor was dead tissue. And that can cause severe infections, and if not caught quickly enough, it can result in very bad things. So, and if you don't respond to antibiotics, it could just be a bad, go into septic shock, and it just could be a bad deal. So thank God that was all taken care of. But because I was out of commission for so long, oh, I have nerve damage in my right leg. So when you have nerve damage, you the nerves are not, they're being compressed, right? So they're not sending they're not working in conjunction with the muscle so that muscle is basically in hibernation okay because it's not activated by the nerves so then other muscles pick up the slack and I was walking still but I was walking with a limp still um, so walked with a limp before surgery walked with a limp after surgery for different reasons well, actually, it's the same reason. Still had the, the nerve damage, you know, prior and after. Um, so I'm in physical therapy now. I have had to fight and fight and fight and fight and fight to get coverage, which is absolutely ludicrous. Um, anyway, that's, you don't want that story. You really don't. But anyway, okay. Um, So anyway, I'm in physical therapy now, and it's hard. It's really hard, but you, and it's painful, but you have to do it, you know. Um, don't laugh, but I'm going to put my little suckies on. Yeah, we look glam from the shoulder, you know. For the most part, we look glammed out, and then on our feet are some socks. <laughs> now you know. <laughs> um... One girl said, she was doing a video on YouTube, and she said, she said, uh, you know, she, you know, makeup was done, and she had a really cute shirt on, and she said, we're just going to pretend I have pants on. <laughs> so you never know what's going on behind the scenes. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, so anyway, I had nerve damage, and as a result of that, I'm in physical therapy, and um, it's hard. I, I have a few more to do, and I'll be gra really grateful when it's all over. Very grateful when it's over. <laughs> it's not fun for anybody. I did the elliptical, which is weird. First time I got on it, it just felt really weird. Um, I have to do balancing exercises where you're standing on foam, and you have to balance yourself and try not to do this number, you know, jerking back and forth. Um... I did lunges today, not too deep, because I'd be stuck down there if I did that. But I did lunges and gentle ones. It still work, you know. Um, what else? I graduated from 35 pounds with both feet to 65 today. And then 35 only on the right leg, because the right leg is still weak. Okay? So, um, yeah, that's what's going on there. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what's going on. Um, for those of you, and I've talked to a few people who are really nervous about having surgery, and I'm not going to lie to you, I was nervous too. 
However, once they put that medicine, the relaxed medicine, usually it's Versed. Once they put that in your IV, you don't care what they do. <laughs> you are so relaxed, medicinally relaxed. So don't 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 get nervous, don't freak out, don't have a panic attack. Believe you me, I was nervous too, but I had suffered so much up until that point. And my pain was so great that we could do surgery like now. We don't have to wait. <laughs> Let's do it now. <laughs> All right. Um, you will be medicinally relaxed. Trust me. Trust me. That's how it's going to happen. So I'm going to unplug this because I'm sorry you guys are going to be wobbly for a minute. Come out of there. There you go. Um, so that's what's going on there. So um, I have a few more sessions to do and then I'll be done. I'm kind of proud of myself. 65 is that's a big deal <laughs> for me because I'm not a you know weightlifter where I can just push weights you know 150 just slap it on me. I, I'm not on that page. <laughs> so um, what else? I saw the movie Gifted. It was very emotional for me for different reasons. Some reasons I don't want to go into because I don't want to ruin it for you. For those of you who are going to see it, if it's still playing in your area. Um, uh, yeah. Um, it brought back some memories that were not the best, but overall it was a really good movie. Um, so it will affect me. It'll affect you differently from how it affected me because of personal things that I've been through in my past. But other than that, it was awesome. <laughs> okay. Other than that, it was awesome. Um, so name of the movie is Gifted. Let's see. What else? Just kind of doing some random thoughts today. Um, You know, as you guys know, I have a disability. I have a, a pain condition called fibromyalgia. And there are some things that people do that are very inconsiderate. And I'm asking you to not do it. I'm asking you to be aware of it so that you can not do it and, allow, and not allow people that you know to do it because it's very disrespectful and it's inconsiderate. For example, it took a long time, took me a long time to get the disability placard because I always make my muscles work. I make them work. I don't allow them to be lazy. And then once I was on crutches for months on end and I was using my wheelchair for months on end, I decided, you know what, let me just go ahead and suck it up and get, uh, um, you know, a uh, disability placard. So I went ahead and did that. Um, when you're disabled, you see the world differently, meaning you notice things that are going to make your life miserable. Okay, that could be prevented by other people. For example, people go into stores, they use the motorized carts, they don't bother plugging them back in. Why are you doing that? How much arm energy does it take to take the cord and push the thingy into the wall? How long does it take to do that? Is that 20 minutes out of your day? No, it takes five minutes. Please be considerate with that. Plug it in. Because I have been in a situation where I'm in the middle of the store and the cart dies because nobody wanted to, you know, plug it in. It's ridiculous. Um, what else? I've seen people take the carts and bring them out into the parking lot and leave them there. Why are you doing that? That doesn't make any sense. Um, I've seen them do it in the dead of winter, too. And for some strange, weird, twisted, bizarre reason, um, there's some Walmarts that are like, you can bring the cart outside. Y'all shouldn't encourage managers. Y'all don't, don't let people do that because they're not bright. They will leave it in the parking lot, in the ice, in the snow, 
any extreme heat because they don't care. It's not theirs. So that policy needs to be gone. Oh, bird, go ahead and bring it outside. Don't do. I'm telling you, that's a bad idea. People do and will leave that, leave it in the car, in the, excuse me, leave the cart in the parking lot because they don't care and they're not thinking about other people. So please don't encourage them to do that. Oh my God, it's a bad move, bad move. Oh, let's see what else. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, I actually made a video prior to this and it had some difficulty so it didn't do what it was supposed to do. So that wasn't very cool. Uh, hmm. Just kind of doing random thoughts today. I know that there's a lot of businesses that are folding, which Amazon will probably be thrilled about. They'll be like, Hey, that's okay. More customers for us. Um, but some of the stores that I saw fold, they were greedy for money. Their prices were ridiculous. Their prices were ridiculous. They did not come down on those prices. Their sales were pathetic. And if you're going to be stubborn about your prices and you're going to do a Mexican standoff and we're not, well, that's the price of it and that's that. When you fold, don't be upset. People are not multimillionaires. They got kids to feed. They got bills to pay. They don't have $50 to spend on a leather planner. It's ridiculous. Absolutely freaking ridiculous. So... The worst thing about greed is there's no cure. That's the worst part. There's no cure for it. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Um, wow. Inconsiderate stores and greedy. Greedy for money. Money, 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 money. Let me tell you another thing. And I dealt with this the other day. And this is addressed to supervisors and managers and store managers, etc. I had a pretty hateful experience with somebody the other day who is an assistant manager of a store and I will not say the name of the store. However, this individual is evil. He's mean to customers. If you say anything to him that addressing him, he's going to counterattack. He had been doing this for quite some time and he's been getting away with it. So, I feel that he needs to get fired. And I'm doing everything I can to see about that happening. There used to be a point in time when I did not want people to lose their job. I just want you to get it together. But then, when I see that you're being evil and hateful... You don't need to have your job because you don't know how to talk to people. Managers, supervisors, do not allow your staff to be hateful. Customers, make sure you complain about these individuals because if they need to lose their job, make it happen for them. That'll be your early Christmas gift or early birthday gift to them. You don't want to do your job? No problem, sweetie. We'll make sure you lose your job. So customers, don't complain, or patients, or whoever. Don't just complain to your friends. Complain to their supervisors, their managers, their bosses, bosses, boss. You raise as much hell as you need to raise because nobody deserves to be abused. Okay? We're spending our money in here, and our money is paying for your paycheck, so you better get it together. And like I said, there's a million people waiting to have your job. So if you can't do it, no problem. Somebody else will fill that position for you. That's the way it works. Because you're too ignorant to have a job. Um, what else? So yeah, companies are folding left and right. I remember there used to be where I live. There used to be a blockbuster. <clears throat> well, their policies were despicable. 
if you didn't rent movies from them often enough, guess what? They close your account. Who are you to tell me how often I should rent movies? So they folded. Number one, their prices were ridiculous to rent a movie. was absolutely ridiculous. Okay? So you're already robbing people blind with the prices that you're charging. And then on top of that, you're going to monitor my account. And if I don't give you, I'm not guaranteed money, you close my account. When they folded, bye-bye. I don't miss you. Peace out. Get riddance. Greed will be your worst disaster because you don't get it. Everybody's not a multimillionaire no more. Well, actually, none of us are, except for maybe a handful of people worldwide. So why the hell are you doing that? You know, if you have reasonable prices, this should be common sense and business 101. If you have decent prices and you have a decent product, not only will your customers stay loyal to you, if you relocate, they will follow you wherever you go, unless you're out of state. If you're in reasonable miles, they will follow you because they're like, I'm not giving to Dave and Joe's rentals. I'm going to go to you because you always provided a decent service for me. This should be common sense of business 101. If you rob the customer and you make them feel uncomfortable and you monitor their account and you close it and you treat them like crap, they're going to quit going to you. Now, unfortunately, there was a Hastings that took their place. And I was more than happy to give my business to Hastings because their prices were reasonable. The staff, for the majority of the part, was very helpful. They recently folded where I am. I can't speak about countrywide or whatever, statewide or whatever. But they folded. And I hated that. I really hated that because I really liked them. And they were not like some companies where they're just as greedy as the day is long. They don't do that. They did not do that. Why do my earrings look whack? Maybe that's just me looking whack. Maybe that's just the way it looks on camera. I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, y'all stop. Stop laughing at me. It's not funny. Anyway, um, so what else? There's some political things, and I'm not going to go there. I'm just going to keep myself. I'm going to be quiet on that. But there are some things that are happening in the country that if that person continues to raise hell, if anybody retaliates to on us because of that person, we're the ones that are going to get killed, not that person. Because Secret Service got that idiot's back. And that's all I'm going to say about that. So he could, well, he could talk as much crap as he wants to, and he could ruffle as many feathers as he wants to, because he'll be skirted off by his, his you know, Secret Service people. Meanwhile, Innocent people will be the ones who are going to be attacked. And I hope to God that that's not the case. And I'm not going to say anything else about that. Wow. Wow. <sighs> so anyway, warm weather's coming. It's here. For a lot of people, it's already been here. Um, during the Memorial Day weekend... I cannot tell you how many children I saw in inflatable boats that did not have on a life jacket. And they were in deep water. I'm talking more than six feet. And their parents weren't smart enough to put them in life jackets. Please, 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 parents, put your children in life jackets. Please. 
drownings happen every year and quite a few of them could be avoided I saw an adult go out on a boat and he didn't have on a life jacket either do you know where his life jacket was his wife had on a life jacket you know where his was behind the seat so he's sitting in a boat in the seat and he put the life jacket up, draped it on on a chair so that'll help float your boat I guess it's not gonna do a whole lot for you people have to use some damn common sense really I mean like like Dr. Phil said it's high time common sense made a comeback in this country and he said that a long time ago and I haven't seen evidence of it coming back yet drownings happen every single year and how many of them could be prevented how many adults go boating and they have to get drunk off their behind while they're boating do you think that's common sense because it's not it's stupid if you have a destination when you get to your destination and you're done boating for the day if you need to get smashed go ahead you want to get drunk off your butt go for it but don't do anything while you're doing this activity don't do anything stupid because it's going to take away your judgment and if your judgment is gone you could lose your life so many deaths can be prevented so many and so many people die because they were dumb let me tell you what happened I don't know how long ago it was I read it that it just drained all the energy out of my body when I read this I think she was either Chinese or Japanese I can't remember her sister just talking about it drains my energy her sister died because she touched a, a, a electrical line and she she got electrocuted and, and got killed okay the surviving sister because she didn't touch the line at that point was describing to other people how her sister got killed and she touched the line to show them and she got killed also <sighs> really I read another situation where and this is a true story a guy decided to take an entire bottle of Viagra because there were two women he was trying to have fun with and he died was it worth it who told you to overdose on medication what is wrong with you what is wrong with you you know what I'm saying um, if you ever research it online you know ridiculous reasons how people got killed or how they died or whatever you're gonna be stunned okay there's another guy don't know his name but he created a suit that has webbing okay it has webbing and he proved that you could fly with this suit on okay now instead of jumping out of a first floor second floor he went all the way up to one of the higher floors and leaped out the window trying to prove that he could fly with this outfit on. Needless to say, it was a colossal failure and he died. Smashing into the ground. <sighs> really? I mean, I don't understand. Okay. It's high time. Common sense. Made a comeback in this country. <laughs> okay. I was talking to someone who I've known for a long time tonight. And her daughter was dating this guy for three years. He didn't, th this is a different topic. He didn't die, okay? Dated her for my friend's daughter for three years. And then he decided it would be a good idea to get involved with her best friend 
He's got some karma waiting for him. Because that's not... I, I, I don't understand. I don't get it. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Okay, so... I talked about this in other videos. And I want to talk about it again, just for a minute. People judge the way you look, and they don't. They assume that you're not disabled because of the way you look. People don't look like a murderer. They don't necessarily look like a rapist. People don't look dead when they're in the casket. They look like they're asleep sometimes. Their hair is done. Their makeup's done. Their suit is nice. Their tie is nice. Her gown is beautiful. Her nails are polished. She's still dead. He's still dead. So you cannot go by appearances, people. Um, and unfortunately, that's happening a lot. You know, if your hair is nice and your makeup's pretty, you can't be disabled. Really? Use some common sense. Appearances have nothing to do with it. That's why you have tests. That's why you have your analysis. That's why you get blood work done. That's why you have an x-ray. That's why the doctor examines you. Does this hurt? Does that hurt? You know what I'm saying? Stop judging off of appearances. I'm disabled. I don't look disabled. Ted Bundy didn't look like a murderer, but he was. He was very handsome. And he was very charming. And he was going to law school. Okay? Handsome, charming, flash those pearly whites. And he was a killer. Stop going by appearances. It's ridiculous. It's stupid and ridiculous. And it's insulting to those of us who have some significant issues. And we don't get taken seriously as a result. Okay? I could put on an evening gown and wear those gloves that go up to your elbows and wear a beautiful hat. And I could be super elegant and high heels and I could rob a bank. Still capable of robbing a bank. But I look damn good. She doesn't look like a bank robber. Come on, people. So, anyway. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Just want to touch base with you. Uh, and give you an up-to-date on what's happening with my body. And what's happening with my um, physical therapy. Um, I talked to somebody in YouTube who said... We watched a video about somebody who had... Um, back surgery and that person said I'm gonna have to have surgery and I'm shaking violently right now at the thought of it and I was like you're gonna be fine you're gonna be fine once they give you the medicine to calm you down you won't care about anything <laughs> it's like a medicinal form of relaxation you're not going to be stressed because you're not going to care about anything. Okay? Um, I was nervous. I was worried. I had my surgery in January this year, of this year. But you're going to be fine. You're going to be perfectly fine. Don't worry about it. Let Say prayers about it. Let the surgeons do what they need to do. You're going to be fine. You're going to be just fine. Okay? So just some random thoughts. Just want to touch base with you after surgery. And like I said, um... I had a laminectomy, so uh, thank God that's over. I do have more muscle spasms as a result of surgery, though. And I think I have bursitis in my left hip, which is really fun. Sometimes it feels like bone is grinding against bone, <sighs> which is a real hassle, as I'm sure you can imagine. I'm going to kill that bug, I swear. That's the worst thing about warm weather. Bugs come and get in your house and it really isn't cool. Um, so what else? I think that's it. I think that's pretty much it. Like I said, if you have to have surgery, don't worry about it. You'll be fine. You'll be perfectly fine. And if not, medicine will calm you down. Trust me, you don't have a choice. <laughs> it will calm you down. <laughs> So, um, you guys be cool. Subscribers, thank you so much. For those of you who are not yet subscribed, why not? Click the button. It doesn't cost you a dime. I love you guys. Take care.
And uh, if you have any questions about my surgery, let me know. Love you. Bye.